Hello, good morning, this is Diecast Luna. I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to the episode of Vintage Matchbox Mondays. And as you've seen the title, it says, Keeping It Simple. Uh, basically, what that means is I had some cars picked out that I wanted to show today. And I basically can't find them. And it's not because I keep my cars in a mess. They are all packaged away. Most of them are either in, in bubble wrap or little zip bags. And they're all packed away. Um, but like a bit of a plonker um, I haven't labeled what's in some of the boxes so anyway cut a long story short I couldn't find a Pacific vehicle so I just thought let's keep it simple and I'm just gonna show some of my favorites older um, market finds these are all cars that have cost me virtually nothing and they're in good sort of what I call survivor condition had a bit of play but uh, anyway we'll get straight into it and the first one we're going to take a look at let's just move my matchbox cup have a sip of my tea so the first piece we're going to take a look at is the ford fairlane police car and it is from about 1964 1965 so bit of zoom on as usual and here it is now when i got this possibly about two years ago um, I did come across a variation of this on something I was reading where they did do an unstickered version <laughs> but on further inspection I'm starting to wonder if this one actually had stickers because I have found a little white bit of residue there I'm sure I found a little bit of white residue on the bonnet there so it looks like and these back in the day, as far as I'm aware of, they were very basic um, transfers on some of these earlier Matchbox. So it wouldn't take a lot for them to rub off. But I, like I said, I did see somewhere that the variations of this, they did a darker blue. I think they did three variations of the blue on this particular type. I think there was like a, like a uh, pale blue, a darker blue, and then there was this blue. But uh, I did see one without its stickers, but... I'm starting to think this one was one that was because obviously it had police little police transfers on it saying obviously police on it and other various little bits but anyway it is in remarkably good condition this car was made I believe from about 1964 up to about 1966 so do the maths yourself this is an old piece and these weren't strong like the newer stuff today uh, you, you sort of drop these and especially as they get older and they love to crack off on the window pillar there and all that good stuff they don't last and this thing has its separate light still you can see it's in a bit of action over the years but it's a great casting and as I said before with the older matchbox they did concentrate more on the details rather than the actual playability as you can see they don't roll the best. There you go, Ford Fairlane police car, made in England, all that good stuff. So that's the first piece. And I forgot to mention, I paid, that was from the two pound pile. Um, so like I said, very, very cheap and still looks great on the shelf. The next piece, I'm gonna just pick it randomly because it's to hand is this now this is the gets a bit of a mouthful it is match by number 54 and i think it says is that c and g cadillac ambulance but this again again it's got some battle scars but you can see now it's fragile little and they aren't stickers i'm sure these were tampos i think it was in the 70s that they started to use stickers but they were little transfers back in the day and again has its light separate little light piece painted front grille and like i said it's acceptable and again this wasn't much from the same saturday market stall that i used to go to me all of these are from the same saturday market stall that i used to go to after work which alas hasn't been there for a while or well, quite a long while now but great detail for back in the day and again like i said 
in my opinion, this is a survivor car. You can call it play worn, but the paint was very, very thin on these back then. And for it to last, again, it's old. This was uh, made, I think, started off in 65, went on to 1969 is when they finished. But again, it wasn't expensive. Again, from the two, two pound part, because the guy used to do, I think he had a box full of play worn for 50p a car. I think it was 50p to a pound, depending on the condition. Uh, to give you an example, I found this in the 50p to a pound pile and it's in really good condition. This one is from, as far as I'm aware, this is the early, late 50s, early 60s, this piece. And it's lost its part of the tow itch, but I paid 50p for this. I got a pair of pounds. I can't remember, like I said, it wasn't the 50p to a pound pile and it's definitely worth, it was worth picking up, even if it can't be towed. So just give you an example, but the guy had cars from 50p to a pound, he had two pound cars, and then he had five pound cars, and then he had like ones that were like sort of getting up there to the 25 and 30 pounds in boxes. He had quite the collection of cars, and a lot of the cars I used to buy from him were from the anywhere from the sort of two pound to the five pound pile. I've got a great car here for an example of a five pound car in a minute but all these ones today are all from the two pound pile um next car is the lotus race car and um, this is what i was trying to find um i've actually got the truck i can't remember what the truck is the truck that this would have been um got what i'll say would have gone with they made a truck back in the day i think it had shell on the side had like a glass roof and the back used to pull out like a transporter truck and you could fit two of these in the truck and i can't remember if the truck came with two of these cars or if the truck came on its own and you bought the cars as an accessory pack um you'll have to forgive me i've forgotten but i do have the truck and that's what i was trying to find because i found the truck first and then quite a few years later i managed to find one of these lotuses with its sticker and its tires so very cool find and again this was produced from about 1965 to 1969 and they almost look like they have a plastic body but i'm sure if i remember rightly let me just check yeah they are metal it's the type of paint and a lot of the problem the reason these lost their tires back in the day is because for some reason i'm not sure if it's the tires uh the plastic centers shrank or whether the tyres expanded or what, but the tyres are, they, they used to just fall off. And these tyres aren't quite at that stage, but they can quite easily pop off. But again, great piece. And again, from the £2 pile, with its man. So I will eventually find where I've put that truck. I've squirreled it away somewhere safe. Uh, next piece is going to be one of my favourite pieces, I've shown it many many times before just because I really like it, um, and it is the MG, and this came from the £5 pile, and again, apart from, and, and, it's not mint, it's, you could say it's, it's, it's good, it's very good to near mint, it's, it's, but, the, but when you think this car was made, um, I think from about 1966 to 1969, and then they bought out the super fast version, I think, in 1970, which is the, the sort of blue, light blue, obviously with the transitional super fast wheels, um, is the more popular one, but this, this is just great. There's no dust, the glass is lovely, and I just really like this car. A little tow itch on the back. So that was the quality, and I'm sure he'll do car boot sales, or should I say market sales again, where he, the guy that did the market stall um, in the little marketplace I used to go to, I think it's because they've had some building works there for a while now. I'm hoping he'll come back again when it warms up, because it was great to go there and see what you could, it's great to have a rummage. Like I've said before over and over again, it is great to find these cars in mint condition. It really is, and I've got a lot of mint condition stuff in my collection but I also I prefer it if I'm completely honest when I find them like this what I call survivor cars so that is that that's the MG and then the last piece is going to be another particular favorite of mine 
and this was from the two pound pile and it is uh, the Rolls Royce it is the Rolls Royce Silver Shadows there you go Matchbox Series number 24 Rolls Royce Silver Shadow and I believe this one was from about 1966 to 1970 and I have a version of this with the super fast wheels on and this was the one that came with again these these came with um, these are like a harder they're not rubber they're like a hard hardish plastic tire around and I believe it is a brass hub that is chrome plated and again they done these rolled rolled a little bit better but like I said they mainly concentrated on the way the casting looked so as you can see they are very nicely detailed for something that's quite basic and this is a particular favorite of mine because i've said this story many many times again but when i was a small boy probably about four or five the little the school i was in if you did particularly well in the morning you got a chance to go in their little lucky dip box and you dig around in the sand or whatever it was in the lucky dip box and there was all these things wrapped up in newspaper and i pulled out one of these which would have been old back then as well because i was probably that would have been the what was that pre, very early 80s but i don't know what happened to my original one but it was great to find one all these years later anyway so that is today's video like i said keeping it simple um i am going to be showing oh well, i don't know actually because i've got some cars i have got one or two pieces i could show um, I've been threatening to show for a while now, um, but I might do I might do another uh, transitional super fast video next week. We'll see. I don't know. But anyway, with that, please like, share, subscribe. Stay tuned for more Vince's Matchbox Mondays episodes. Stay tuned for this week's Wednesday Premium. Be pretty cool. And obviously, stay tuned for the Friday Night Custom. And with that, I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for watching. Take care.